Imagine a city gripped by an irresistible urge to dance, not for joy, but as if possessed by an unknown force. In the scorching summer of 1518, Strasbourg fell victim to the dancing plague. Hundreds were afflicted, their bodies swaying and convulsing in a dance marathon that lasted for weeks. Exhaustion set in, but the relentless rhythm continued, leading to unimaginable suffering and even death. This wasn't a scene from a horror film, it was a terrifying reality. The Dancing Plague of 1518 remains one of history's most baffling events. Its cause, a mystery. Its impact, devastating. How could an entire city succumb to such a bizarre affliction? The answers, like the event itself, are shrouded in mystery. Join us as we delve into the heart of this enigma, exploring the strange facts, the myths, and the possible explanations for this bizarre chapter in human history. The year was 1518. The place, Strasbourg, a bustling city in what is now France. Life bustled with the energy of trade and commerce. But in July of that year, a strange and unsettling event began to unfold. A woman, Frau Trophia, started to dance in the streets. Her movements were erratic, uncontrolled, almost frenzied. At first, her dance was met with amusement, perhaps even a touch of pity. But as the hours turned into days, and her dance showed no signs of abating. Concern began to ripple through the city. Her feet, blistered and bleeding, continued their relentless rhythm. What began as a solitary dance soon transformed into a collective frenzy. Within days, dozens had joined Frau Trophia, their bodies mirroring her frantic movements. The streets of Strasbourg, once vibrant with the pulse of everyday life, were now overtaken by a macabre ballet. The authorities, baffled and alarmed, struggled to comprehend the situation. The Dancing Plague wasn't a gradual descent into madness. It was an explosion of bizarre behaviour that gripped Strasbourg with terrifying speed. Within a month, over 400 people had joined the relentless dance. Imagine the scene. Hundreds of souls, their faces a mixture of ecstasy and agony, moving to a silent, deadly rhythm. Historical accounts tell us that many dancers experienced vivid hallucinations. They spoke of visions of saints and demons, their words tumbling out between gasps for air. This wasn't just a physical affliction, it was a mental torment. And then there's the matter of the music, or rather the lack thereof. While some accounts mention musicians, others describe an eerie silence. Imagine it, hundreds of people dancing in unison, their bodies moving to a rhythm that only they could hear. The authorities, desperate to stop the spread of the plague, resorted to a series of increasingly bizarre remedies. These attempts, while well-intentioned, proved futile. The mystery of the dancing plague has spawned countless theories and legends. One popular myth claims that the dancers were members of a religious cult, their movements a form of ecstatic worship. However, historical records offer no evidence to support this claim. The dancers came from all walks of life, united not by faith, but by a shared affliction. Another theory suggests that the plague was a case of mass poisoning, perhaps caused by ergot, a fungus that can contaminate rye grain. While ergot poisoning can induce hallucinations and convulsions, it doesn't explain the prolonged and specific nature of the dancing mania. Perhaps the most enduring theory attributes the dancing plague to mass hysteria, a phenomenon in which psychological stress manifests as physical symptoms. While this theory offers a plausible explanation, it doesn't fully account for the physical toll the dance took on its victims. The truth remains elusive, a testament to the limits of our understanding. The Dancing Plague of 1518 might seem like a distant and bizarre anomaly, but beneath the surface of this unsettling tale lies a deeper message, one that resonates even in our modern world. The events of 1518 offer a powerful reminder of the interconnectedness of mind and body. They highlight the profound impact that stress, fear and social contagion can have on our physical well-being. In today's fast-paced society, we are constantly bombarded with stresses. The demands of work, the relentless news cycle, the ever-present pressure to succeed. All of these factors take a toll on our mental and physical health. The dancing plague, though extreme in its manifestation, serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of neglecting our well-being. Moreover, 
the events of 1518 remind us of the power of belief and the importance of critical thinking. In the absence of a clear explanation, the people of Strasbourg turned to superstition. Today, it's more important than ever to approach information with a critical eye and seek out evidence-based explanations. Despite centuries of speculation, the dancing plague of 1518 remains an enigma. No single theory fully explains the bizarre behavior, the physical toll, and the sheer scale of the outbreak. One prevailing theory suggests that the plague was a form of mass psychogenic illness, also known as mass hysteria. This phenomenon occurs when a group of people, often under stress or facing a perceived threat, exhibit similar physical or psychological symptoms. In the case of Strasbourg, several factors could have contributed to mass hysteria. The city was in the midst of a period of social and economic upheaval. Famine, disease and religious strife were rampant, creating an atmosphere of fear and uncertainty. In such a climate, a seemingly inexplicable event like Frau Trophia's dance could have easily sparked a wave of collective anxiety. Furthermore, the power of suggestion and social contagion likely played a significant role in the spread of the dancing mania. Those who witnessed the frenzied movements, already primed by fear and stress, were more susceptible to suggestion. While the dancing plague of 1518 might seem like a relic of a bygone era, echoes of this bizarre phenomenon can still be found in modern times. Cases of mass psychogenic illness, though rare, continue to occur. One well-documented example occurred in 1962 in a Tanzanian school where an outbreak of laughter and crying spread rapidly among the students. The symptoms, which lasted for several weeks, baffled doctors and led to the school's closure. Similar outbreaks of unexplained fainting, nausea and dizziness have been reported in schools and factories around the world. These modern day examples highlight the enduring power of social contagion and the susceptibility of the human mind to suggestion. While a full-blown dancing plague is unlikely to occur in our modern world, the underlying factors that contributed to it, stress, anxiety, social unrest, are still very much present. Understanding the psychological and social dynamics that can lead to mass psychogenic illness is crucial for addressing the broader issue of mental health. The dancing plague of 1518 while extraordinary in its scale and duration, was not an isolated incident. History is replete with accounts of similar outbreaks of dancing mania. One of the earliest recorded instances occurred in the 11th century in Germany, where a group of over a hundred people reportedly danced uncontrollably for hours. Similar outbreaks were documented in Italy, Holland and Switzerland throughout the Middle Ages, often coinciding with periods of famine, disease, or social upheaval. In some cases, the dancing mania took on a religious connotation, with dancers claiming to be possessed by saints or demons. For example, in the 14th century, a phenomenon known as the St. Vitus's dance swept through Europe. These historical parallels suggest that the dancing plague was not a unique event, but rather a manifestation of a recurring phenomenon linked to social, psychological, and environmental factors. By studying these past outbreaks, we can gain a better understanding of the complex interplay of forces that can lead to such bizarre and unsettling behaviour. The Dancing Plague serves as a stark reminder of the power of belief and the importance of critical thinking. The Dancing Plague of 1518 stands as a chilling testament to the power of belief and the susceptibility of the human mind to suggestion. In the absence of a rational explanation for their affliction, the people of Strasbourg turned to the supernatural. This tendency to seek supernatural explanations for the unknown is a deeply ingrained aspect of human psychology. Throughout history, humans have sought to make sense of the world around them, often attributing inexplicable phenomena to the actions of gods, spirits, or other unseen forces. In the case of the Dancing Plague, the belief in supernatural causes likely exacerbated the spread of the mania. The fear and anxiety generated by these beliefs created a fertile ground for mass hysteria to take root and spread. Those who witnessed the frenzied dancing, already primed by superstition and fear, were more likely to succumb to the same affliction. In our modern world, 
where information spreads at an unprecedented rate, it is more important than ever to approach claims with a healthy dose of skepticism. The Dancing Plague of 1518, though a harrowing tale, offers a captivating glimpse into the enduring mysteries of the human experience. It reminds us that even in our age of scientific advancement, there are still phenomena that defy easy explanation. The story of the Dancing Plague is a call to embrace the unknown, to delve into the annals of history and explore the enigmas that have puzzled humankind for centuries. By exploring these historical mysteries, we not only satisfy our innate curiosity, but also gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity of the human experience. We learn to question assumptions, to embrace uncertainty, and to approach the world with a sense of wonder and a thirst for knowledge. So let us continue to explore the unexplained, to seek answers to history's most perplexing puzzles. Embrace the mysteries that make the human story so endlessly fascinating. The Dancing Plague of 1518 continues to captivate and puzzle us centuries later. It's a stark reminder of the mysteries that still linger in our world. What are your thoughts on this bizarre event? Do you think it was a case of mass hysteria, ergot poisoning or something else entirely? Share your theories in the comments below. Let's delve into this historical enigma together, exploring the possible explanations and the enduring lessons of the Dancing Plague. Don't forget to like and share this video to keep the conversation going and to introduce others to this fascinating chapter in human history.